before we begin, this is the PAX 2024 video, and I edited this in 40 minutes. <laughs> so it is a very fast and sloppy edit. I'm just going to talk about my experiences uh, while we watch this. And, um, you know, you can just uh, look at the things and I'll tell you how it was. It was great. I really loved it. The weather was the worst part of it. It was um, windy. At one point, I was like Michael Jacksoning. Hang on, let me explain. Do you, you know when he goes horizontal on like a 45 degree angle? Do you know that? Well, that was me trying to run against the wind. Whatever that move is called. There's some kind of name for that move. That's not horizontal. It's um, italic. Diagonal, thank you. So yeah, it was kind of um, windy, cold, rainy, but I loved it. I had a great time. The convention was cool. Even if there was less to do, it was just better for like hanging. So here was my experience at PAX East. Doesn't that parking lot look like a lot of fun? You know what's crazy? Six Flags is worse. Also, I may need a new phone at some point because the camera... I, I don't know if it's the camera or what, but it's not, it's not handling motion as well. Holy shit, is that Redbox? Yeah, right in the front, the booth uh, RetroWare had was literally in between Larry and... and um, Larry and Square. And there was just Redbox vinyl as soon as you came down off the escalator. It was amazing. So this was, um, some of this footage is out of order. This was 9 a.m. on Thursday, which I was allowed to participate in. So some of the booths weren't fully set up. This is, again, out of order. They just had potatoes. Like I said, there was just spuds. They were just giving out, like, shredded potatoes. I didn't really love them. It's fine. Wasn't amazing. There's the Sandland tank. Holy shit, is that Redbox? But yeah, there's the New Blood booth. You can see they're dressed like goons. And that was what the goon party was all about. Um, getting to meet Dave Oshry was nice. And uh, I forgot to post that picture. Well, I'll show it to you, because I have I have the picture of, of he and I. And it got memed and, you know, edited. It was fun. But, um, yeah, I mean, this convention was probably the least packed in terms of, um, booths, booths, booths. Just because it was, um, I think the, from what I heard, the fee is, like, ridiculous. And also GDC is happening at the same time. Sony dropped out. I don't know, like, that was the Suda company, by the way, Suda51. Um, I don't know what Qu Quid, Quid Yacht is, what was it called? And there's a booth with weird, like, fire portals. I didn't really know what that was, but... Quid Yacht. Um, it was kind of cool to be there at 9 a.m. I don't usually wake up that early. I woke up at 8 to do that. Uh, I don't know if it was worth it. I guess it was fun to just have the novelty of an empty show floor. I didn't really do much. I did buy a, a shirt. It was like a pack shirt I wanted. Uh, a lot of clouds. A lot of clowns. Clouds and clowns. Clouds and clowns. There was a Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon stuff, and like, spots to play the cards. I got a three-pack of Pokemon cards that they just gave me at 9 a.m. And, uh, I, I didn't open it yet, but anyway, you have, um, by the way, these Duncan gift cards, I saw people collecting like 10 of them. Some bizarre game where you, like, throw a ball against the screen. Here's, here's this fucking game, Who's Your Daddy, which I played an early version of it. Why was it at PAX? Did you see the baby face? Holy shit, is that Redbox? They had a really nice setup. And 
oh look it's cloud again and it was really cool to see all my merch like that um a lot of lethal company plus the ice king i guess this is a great one so so this jigglypuff custom jigglypuff which is amazing sephiroth and sephirotha and addison with a very pinicular head holding up a sign in front of the pokemon booth this was like worlds colliding And Pikachu was there, too. Uh, more Lethal Company. It's, uh, Larion's booth, and, uh, I don't know what the hell this was. I tried to get a good shot of it. I don't know. I showed my- the merch I got yesterday, so that's in a different video. Enjoy this royalty-free music that I found on YouTube. It took me three minutes to find. It's like Nathan Fielder listening to royalty-free music in his car. I mean, hey, it's not bad. That last track was excellent. That, that last track was called, like, Killer Clown Track or something. Like, Demented Clowns. And come on, I mean, that's perfect. Oh, oh, here's the, um, there's, like, a blackboard. And, um, this was day one? before the show floor officially opened. And that was filled to the brim with drawings and stuff later on. There's Anton Blasts, um, some other games and stuff. Again, I just walked around, randomly took footage when I could. This is all out of order. I don't know if it happened, but while I was filming and walking through Someone recognized me? Hol Holy shit, is that red box? Oh, anyway, um... This was at, um... A rest stop. In, like, Connecticut, by the way. Those Mar- the Sonic and Mario, that wasn't even packed, so I don't know why I included that. Ignore. Holy shit, is that rest stop? Oh, some uh, Hell Divers cosplays. Very quickly, some people put together some amazing Hell Divers. There's Clive and Pepino. There's me and Chrono. This was an excellent moment for me. Uh, this was at the Jimmy John's. Someone was posting Join Team Rocket. This is me getting my kneecaps busted by a goon. Some more Hell Divers. Me and Tony from Anton Blasts. Um, here's me and the popcorn bucket. I have some photoshops of that. I'll show you. There's me with my sign. I like the way you thrust the cloud. That's it, really. I mean, that's the whole video. I just put together some footage I got. Um, but yeah, there was a chat member who found me as I was walking through. This dude. Look, look, look. You'll notice he, he waves at me, and I didn't get it at first, but he, he recognized me. That happens once in a while. Um, one of the crazy things about what I do and going to a convention is people will randomly be like, yo, what up, Vinny? I didn't ignore him. I actually did wave, and I you know stopped a second later after I stopped filming. But um, it's really interesting to be at a place where people know who you are and treat you like someone they've known for a while. And I'm like, hi. But one time... Um, you know, once in a while, uh, there's someone that I've spoken to at previous PAX years, previous conventions, and I just don't, like, recognize them because I can't remember. There's just too many. Massive coincidence, but Mike did meet a Red Pikmin at MAGFest who's a fan of Red Vox. I know, you should check the background of that VOD, like, on the balcony for a shadowy figure. You should do that. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Um, but I do find a lot of, uh, seriously, people were so nice this year. It was maybe my favorite year for just meeting people. Like, again, I got to hang out with some developers. Um, I got to meet, you know, hang out with Rocco a little bit from Mega64. Um, this dude again. <laughs> you know, killer clown people. I met, um, some of the Dune people who were making that Dune survival game. 
And um, there's me and Dave from New Blood. And I didn't realize just how Leon Kennedy-ish this actually was until someone made the Photoshop. Yeah, this is the uh, the jacket that people, um, like one of the, the pictures that people post of me, it's this jacket, and I didn't wear it for years. And I just said, you know what? I'll bust this jacket out for like one day at every con. It's a little uncomfortable, but it looks kind of good. So it's my survival horror protagonist jacket. Like it's my particular one. Um, so yeah, photoshops of that. There is also... Some of you saw the, the Dune uh, bucket, the, the popcorn bucket. And, um, you know, there were some photoshops of that. So I think Phoenix Seraph made this, which is not surprising. And then, um, CD made this one. Hello, Link. I would like to sell these pose. The liquid in the jar can contain a Poe for up to three years. Would you like to add your liquid to the Poe jar? And here's some, uh, some plunging. But yeah, I mean, it was, it was interesting. I got to, to hang out with, um, a lot of good people. Nari was there. That was fun. Um, you know, Aunt Fushi, the usuals. I, like, I have a really great... It's, it's like a number of different groups I kind of go between, but I'm very pleased that all, after, like, almost 10 years, I think it's 11 years of me going to PAX, 10 or 11, and um, it's just really nice to have that many people. I got to hang with She Says a little bit and uh, meet some new people as well. Um, so, yeah, if you if you waited online for me, thank you. If you bought any merch, thank you. Next year, there's going to be more Vine Sauce merch, for sure. This year, it was mostly Redvox, because they acquired all of my merch after the shutdown of SCP. But we have some ideas for future Red, um, Vine Sauce merch. But this year, it was just tons of Redvox shit. And you know what? People bought it. But like I said, you never will get charged to meet me. The only thing is you just have to wait in a line. But if you're willing to do that, like, I'll sign a business card for you. I'll sign your badge, you know, and I usually have the... I, people loved the frog weeples, by the way, those little fellas. Huge hit. I still have, like, 200 of them. It's fucking awesome that people like them. And I still... Uh, I will bring them to too many games. So that should be fun. But yeah, um, what else? I guess uh, that's about it. Oh, uh, did anyone ask you to sign weird stuff? Yeah, I mean, once in a while, I signed like a dollar bill, you know, stuff like that. I signed someone's like parking ticket. Um, I signed someone's subway card. Oh, hey, Bacon. I got to hang out with Tom Fulp a little bit too, which was great. Tom is always, Tom is the owner of Newgrounds.com. And he's like kind of a celebrity to me because when I was growing up, you know, I was like a teenager on Newgrounds. And um, I just thought like the whole thing was cool as fuck. So me and Tom have gotten to know each other over the years a little bit. Uh, you signed my son's forehead. I did sign your son's forehead. That is true. That is, I mean, it's not weird. Your son's not weird. I, th it's weird signing a forehead. But hey, that's got to be... So probably going to mess up his development. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, Tom Fulp is a really cool dude and really, really nice. And we had a chance to talk for a while this time. Uh, John Davies, the artist who has done so much great work, uh, he gave me a bunch of chocolate from Britain. And I got to say, I really wish he didn't because it's fucking delicious. And I can't stop eating it. From Britain, Britannia. Sorry, Britannia. It's so good. It's so good. It's like Piccadilly chocolate. Which ones? Give me a moment. I'll tell you which one. Tony's 
Tony's chocolate. Really fucking good. Uh, I did sign someone's wooden duck. I think it was five times by the end of the convention. I signed it. I'll explain. Okay, so I signed a wooden duck at my booth. But I kept running into the person. So it was every time I ran into them, they were like, can you sign my duck? I'm like, again? And at one point, I signed it at the hotel lobby where people were drinking one of the hotel lobbies. And the other people, like the, you know, the professional business people that were there were like, why'd you sign that duck? And it became like a thing for the next hour. And it was kind of fun. But I signed it five times. And that was the coolest thing that I signed, probably. I enjoyed that a lot. So, I guess that's about it. Any other, um, Tall Aerith from Saturday. Thanks for the beautiful cloud drawing. Oh, yeah, you made me draw cloud. Uh, I wouldn't say it was beautiful. I like how you had to clarify that you were the tall Aerith. Because there were, you know what, there were a couple Aeriths, a lot of Tifas, a lot of clouds, zero Chadleys. It's the bigger Aerith theory. What were the toilets like? Here's the trick. And please don't remember this because I don't want you to remember this. Um, you have to find there are better toilets. You got you to gotta explore a little bit. You can find them. If you go around the convention center, there are various bathrooms that are not as used. There are secret toilets. So, don't tell anyone. I will say, very clean. Anything weird happened during the event, not specifically to you? Um, honestly, I can't really think of anything. Uh, it was a very chill, kind of semi-quiet-ish packs. And um, if you watched yesterday, you saw the merch I got. But I don't really have... Um, yeah, I don't really think I have anything specific. No one shit on the floor. Ten years getting a chance to talk to you at PAX. Always a pleasure, man. Appreciate your time. Well, you're very, uh, you're very welcome. I think I know who you are. I think. Yeah, some people I've met like several years, and it's, um, it's nice. Any wild birds? Yeah, there's always a wild bird. There's a pigeon in the loading area, apparently. Vinny, sorry there was no shit. I couldn't make it this year. Okay. I hope you enjoy the secret thing I gave you. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Oh, did you give me a game key? <sighs> Hang on. Hang on, I think it- wait, 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 chat member, were you the person that gave me the mystery game key? Alright, give me a second here, chat. I'll be right back. We're gonna put that shit in Steam right now, hang on. This chat member was acting so, so suspicious about this game key that's written on a piece of paper from the U.S. Air Force. It says, for Melpert, and there's a Steam key. So, I'm gonna put this in now. I don't know why there's an... It's like Air Force, like a notepad from the Air Force. Hey, and the moment of truth, chat. It's just pseudo regalia. Okay, well, this is not a great way to get me to play your game. I know it's a good game. I've already heard all the good things about this one, and apparently it's quite nice. But I mean, I was expecting like fucking, like, you know, like, massage Hitler's ball simulator like with the way that you 
you were acting, chat member? Like cock porn on Steam or something? Like, you know, this is a fine game. Well, anyway. It was, listen, it's fine. I appreciate the game, thank you. Um, no guarantees I'll stream it or play it. But it's nice to, it's nice to have it. I'm gonna just type Hitler in Steam real quick and see what comes up because furry Hitler, fuck Hitler, Hitler waifu, heal Hitler, his sex with Hitler, Hitler BDSM bunker, Hitler hates anime, Hitler my friend, Hitler loves anime, furry Hitler 2, sex with Hitler 2, <laughs> sex with Hitler 2069, <laughs> Hitler is my crush, Hitler on the moon. <laughs> Chad, I'm not making this shit up, by the way. This is... Why is this all real? Uh, and then there's just Wolfenstein and shit. But, okay, this is a lot of... Uh, okay. Well, I didn't expect that much. And there's the chat member saying hi. Oh, 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 sorry, you just missed it, chat member. Anyway, um, say goodbye to your Steam recommendations. I listen. I just checked one time. There's no way Gabe is gonna like fuck my algorithm up now, right? There's no way that's gonna happen. God damn it! All right, chat. Well, not much else I can say other than. PAX was fun. Once again, I appreciate everything everyone has done for me. We've amassed a nice little community here. In person, people are really, really chill. Very conversational. It's really fun. And I'm glad to have met all of you. So thank you for making this a memorable experience. And PAX was cool too. Do you have our pictures with the Hilux gang? You know, I guess I could show that. Here I am thinking like, oh, I'll just show cursed pictures of me touching the fucking popcorn bucket. But yeah, there are some. There's a couple other pictures. Um, here's me with Doppley, who made Arzette. Who, Seth is a fantastic dude, by the way. Really, really cool guy. We got, here's the Hilux gang. There's Chuck. We got Mason. Some great people here. I met them. It's fantastic uh, to be able to hang with, with the, the lads again. And um, unrelated, but Miss Nova made this, which I just think is incredible. So. And, uh, oh, actually, one more picture. This is, okay, so we took this picture. This is uh, Richard E.B., who is a musician, a guitarist, who's, I, I mean, I just found that his, he's an incredible guitarist. And anyway, people kept saying he looked like me. So we took a picture together. And well, he's me. Yep. Same guy. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's it. Um, also, one more thing I'll say. Actually, you maybe heard me say this the other day, but I'll tell you again. So it was a gift to be able to do... Um, that frog voice in RZ. Seriously, because the amount of people that came up to me with RZ related stuff, whether it be they printed out a picture of the frog or they brought the Switch version of the game and I got to sign it, that was truly something I didn't expect. And I'm really happy that it, uh, people liked my shitty performance enough for me to sign uh, their frog merchandise. So, thank you, Doppley, for that. And um, I did sign my Final Fantasy VII MS Paint drawing, which I was looking for just now while I was talking, and I don't know where I put the folder. So, the one with Cloud and Midgar that I made in 1998, someone printed it out and I signed it. So, that was actually kind of... A surreal moment, if I've ever felt one in my life, and yeah, 
Oh, it was Neo. Okay, Neo, who also gifted me anime. Another great way to get me to watch anime is to just give me free anime. Listen. Never say never. I've watched three animes in my life. Maybe one day I'll watch Cowboy Bebop. Don't actually do that, by the way. I'm kidding. Uh, just keep your free anime. Alright. Uh, let's play a video game, shall we? I can't find the image. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know where I put my Final Fantasy VII art. Well, here's to next year's packs, which will be in May. And, uh... Will be warm. So, hopefully, we can do this again then. Found it. Found it. This! I signed this! Planet's dying cloud. All right, chat, we're going to do the uh, Princess Peach Showtime demo. I'm a little late to the party here, but, you know, I'll give it a shot. I did download the Mario Donkey Kong demo. I don't know if I'm going to play that anytime soon, but I just downloaded it for the hell of it. Can you say hell? Oh, God damn it. Can you say hell in the first 30 seconds of a YouTube video? What about God damn it? Vinny, can you show the monkey pose picture we took? I forgot about the monkey pose picture. Uh, remind me, or someone in chat remind me during the BRB. I'll show it then, because otherwise this is going to go to waste, you know? But at least there it will be part of the BRB discussion. The monkey pose is how you assert dominance. <laughs> 